What's up guys, today in the shop we're going to be installing a upgraded DNM shock on a CRF-110. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and remove the five 8mm bolts in the side shrouds. Sometimes you can uh, get that lower one with a magnet if you need to. I went ahead and loosened these up uh, before I hit them with the impact, that way you don't mess up the heads. Go ahead and pop the seat off and start wiggling on the panels. The little pins on the back side of the shrouds will pop right out of those receivers. Take your little auto body tool and you can pop these heads right up pretty easily and just squeeze the uh, bottom and it'll come right out of there. Now you can adjust the brake rod so we can move the swing arm, loosen that up and uh, we can get to the bolts. It's a 17 millimeter lock nut with a 14 millimeter head. The two bolts on the shock are identical, so don't worry about mixing them up. Don't be surprised, these bolts are a little bit tight from the factory. It's gonna take some effort. I figured from the uh, backside it would work better. Now I'm pulling these bolts out from the right side, but they're actually supposed to come out from the left. Somebody had worked on this bike previously. Now if you just push down on the rear wheel, you can go ahead and pull that original shock out of there. The problem you're gonna have is these little pins right here on the frame. They're gonna hit the shock. We want to install the shock with the rebound adjustment side up. I like to wiggle it up and down a little bit to see where it's hitting those tabs. You can see right here where it's making contact. Take you a little drill, don't forget your safety glasses, and uh, drill a little bit on both sides where it is hitting the frame. You could also potentially take a screwdriver and um, beat those tabs down. After installing the shock back into the bike, we can put the bolts in, uh, put some assembly lube on the bolts and some Loctite on the nuts. That'll go a long way for you. Once again, putting those bolts in from the left side with the lock nuts on the right. Go ahead and snug those bolts up nice and tight. Take a 14 millimeter wrench or a deep well socket and we can tighten the nut on the brake rod. Spin the wheel while you do it. Once you feel it grab, then just loosen it up a couple turns and it'll be the perfect adjustment. Getting close here, go ahead and pop the seat back on. I like to do that first and then go with the panels. Just push the lower part of that black pin into the hole and then you can push the top of the head down. Don't forget to push these shrouds, the pins back into the rubber uh, receivers on the bike and uh, hand tighten up the eight millimeter bolts. Definitely do not use an impact to start. You can um, strip some threads out. Do the same thing on the other side. This is the panel has three of them. The other side has two. Don't forget to snug up all five of your eight millimeter bolts in your panels. I'm just using a quarter inch drive ratchet. But that's it, the whole process on the DNM shock. Don't forget to play with your rebound and um, fast and slow to get a good feel for it. Enjoy.